The national focus on private militias in the wake of the Oklahoma City bombing has been a business boon to at least one man. He's a movie maker who turned his cameras on that subject several years ago. He produced a film called Death and Taxes that's now coming off the shelves and heading into theaters. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Coogan has more. That was the movie that inspired the bombing of the Oklahoma City uh, As we building. All well you know. know. Yes. No, nobody well. knows that. But. Lisa, long before the radical right was claiming the road to Oklahoma City ran through Waco, Texas and the Idaho Panhandle, it had made a martyr out of a man named Gordon Call. Now the Oklahoma City bombing has pushed out of obscurity an L.A. filmmaker's sympathetic study of this so-called godfather of the militia movement. I think they wanted me to fill out income tax papers and I told them nothing doing. I this man, Gordon Call, killed two federal marshals in a shootout and in turn was shot and burned to death after a nationwide manhunt 12 years ago. Now, Call's story in a documentary called Death and Taxes is back in the news. We have a movie that's politically incorrect. The documentary filmmaker is Jeffrey Jackson of Venice. His film presents eerie echoes of claims of government persecution the armed radical right has made following the Oklahoma City terror attack. Well, Timothy McVeigh had a copy of that in the back of his car when they busted him driving away from did, did he really? Oklahoma City. Death yeah, taxes? yeah. people were calling me from around the country going, we heard about death and taxes. I go, what do you mean? And they go, we were listening to NPR radio, and they did a report on what was in Timothy McVeigh's car, and he had a copy of the movie Death and Taxes in the back seat. I found out that the federal government really crushed a small farmer over his freedom of speech, over basically going on TV and saying federal income taxes were unconstitutional. Jackson's rendition of Gordon Call is heavy on charges of government overreaction, but treads lightly on Call's fanaticism. Authorities say the prime suspect is a radical survivalist. For example, when Call was a fugitive, he wrote, We are a conquered and occupied nation, conquered and occupied by Jews, who plan to rule the world by destroying Christianity and the white race. It is no accident the film about a far-right fringe martyr returned to theaters tonight outside Detroit. We've had to expand it to four days and it's kind of taken off and had a life of its own. I, I've then kind of publicized it as a mini Woodstock event for the Michigan militia. Filmmaker Jeffrey Jackson's subject matter contains an ironic spinoff to the current calls to investigate the 1993 Waco Branch Davidian standoff. That is, Gordon Call was killed in 1983 in Arkansas and the governor then was Bill Clinton. Live from the newsroom, Mark Coogan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Well, that's a little, you know. That's, that's an inspiring movie. You yes, have to be careful is. what you watch.